back to NYU and Louise. Today we're interviewing I'm Louisa and I'm majoring in computer science. Okay, so how did you choose your major? When I was little, I had an iPod Touch, and then from that point onwards, I just became really interested in like technology. I did some engineering things here and there, and then I started programming and realized that I really liked it. Okay, so how were your was your reality about Tandem compared to your expectations? I definitely thought that the exam would be the most difficult thing here labs and homework would be a lot easier, but I'd say like the opposite happened, where the labs were the hardest and then the homework and the exams were easier than both of those things put together. Not to say that the exams are that easy. Yeah, no, no, no. That, like, they're still difficult, you still have to study for them, but it's definitely different from the homework. Yeah, I see you struggle with homework. Yeah. Okay, now how does your typical schedule look like every day? Okay, so my schedule isn't like super early in the morning. I have to say I'm pretty lucky with that. It's usually around the afternoon, and then whenever you take like a CS class, most of the labs are on Fridays, which kind of sucks when you can't take the day off. Yeah. How demanding would you say your workload is compared to your fellow peers? I'd say that it's almost in the middle, right? Because it's like our homework weighs a lot more than other classes' homework, and I think there's a lot more time that has to go into that. But studying for exams, as long as you've been doing well in your homework and your labs, it shouldn't be super impossible. Whereas I feel like you can't cram for computer science where you kind of can for some other majors. Okay, so how much time would you say you put into your schoolwork every week slash day? Um, I'd say maybe like 10 hours a week. If you were going to say a day, I was like, girl. Yeah, 10 hours a, week, a day, and I don't sleep, I don't eat, all I do, I wake up. 10 hours a week is like pretty even. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty even. It like obviously will fluctuate depending on like how tough something can be. And whether or not like you get stuck on a problem, like that's the biggest thing, is that once you get stuck, sometimes it takes a really long time to come up with a solution. Even if it's something simple, you're just not expecting it. Yeah. Okay, so what is the exam culture for your major? I know you spoke about it a little bit before. Yeah, so the exam culture is definitely like there's a very big percentage of your grade that is exams. Like although homework and lab is maybe 30% of your exam grade, sorry. 30% of your total grade, 70% does come from exams, and that's a huge chunk to really yeah. think about. Um, again, like you can't really cram for these things. It's either you know it or you don't know it. There's a lot of on the spot thinking. Thankfully, like your homework and your labs kind of prepare you for that. Okay, so how do you think your professors have impacted your grades, and what professors would you recommend to fellow students? So even though I complained about him in our last video, I would recommend Professor Sterling he, for object-oriented programming. Um, a lot of sophomores take that, but you could also take it your freshman year if you take data structs first. And he's just like a really amazing teacher, but he's really intimidating, is the problem. <laughs> like, but during office hours, he's actually really sweet and genuinely wants to help you and wants to see you succeed in his course. Um, I also took Tall for data structures, and he's pretty good too. He is kind of different though. Like, his lectures, I wouldn't say, are 100% a lecture. There's a lot of time that he spends like, with students just like contemplating whether or not their solution will work. And even though that's good, it also takes up a really big yeah, time in class. Too. So I'd say like of the hour and 20 minutes in the standard classes, like maybe like 30 minutes are really helpful. But you should still go. Um, so you didn't really answer the question of how your professors impacted your grade. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so I would say that if you have an issue and you know the professor, then it's easier to take it up. Like you can submit really grade requests, and it's also more important than the professor for like grading things. I say are the TAs. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So would you say you would have needed to buy any textbooks for your major specifically? Definitely not. Um, Tandon Books actually has like all the textbooks that you need for your CS classes, or at least you know, your first year and halfway into your second year. So I would just really rely on that. I'm personally not a textbook learner. I'll watch videos, I'll do something else, but if you are a textbook learner, then there's no real need to actually go out and buy a physical book. I'll link tandonbooks.org down below. Okay, so what opportunities do you think that Tandon offered to your major specifically? So, uh, Tandon's really well known for cybersecurity, and so they have a cybersecurity club slash team. Is it VIP? No, I don't think it is VIP. VIP is vertically integrated pro programs, projects. It's one or the other. Um, <laughs> I'll fix it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I really don't know. Um, and anyway, credit. 
yeah, those give you credit for classes. You can use them toward like free electives, which computer science, computer science has a lot of, which is really nice. And basically, like there's different projects like Hyperloop and Tandem Motorsports that you can become part of, and you're going to be working with other engineering students. So you're not just working like with computer science students. Specifically. It's amazing. I saw all the projects for the grad students. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful with their projects. It's really nice. It's really great, like real world experience. I'd say. And the Tandem is getting representation for their VIPs and their clubs that are taking it a step further than other schools. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so would you say that you're pursuing grad school anytime in the future? And why or why not? Okay, so my situation is a little bit different because I kind of transferred here in a sense. Like my high school was weird, and maybe one day we'll do a video about that. But this is technically like my fourth year in college, and by this point, I just have a lot of time done. I, yeah, I might too, but I am ready to be done, and for what I want to do, I don't really think that I need graduate school. So for some students who like like to go into research, like I did research in my undergrad, and you can definitely do that in undergrad or grad. Um, and if you like that and you want to pursue that as a career and you want to keep doing that, then I definitely would recommend graduate school. But for most jobs, they don't really require you to have, or like there isn't even a super strong 